Hey everybody, welcome to another exclusive GoodyReader.com comparison video. This is Peter. Today we have the Microsoft Surface and we're going to do something that a lot of you guys will pretty much question you as, as you guys have in the past. But we're going to do it anyways because we feel that it's pretty important to mention. We're going to compare this to the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. Now your initial reaction may be, well that's ridiculous because this is a five to six hundred dollar fully fledged tablet with detachable keyboard and uh, running quad core processors and 10.6 inch high resolution screen and this is a six inch black and white e-reader worth about a hundred dollars. reason we're going to do this is because we are good e-reader. We are going to show you the, e the reading experience on both of these devices. Whether you want to read a book on a e-reader or a tablet is completely up to you and we're just going to show you how it is on both of these because this is a new Windows 8 Microsoft Surface and it does have Amazon Kindle on it so we are going to show you that so without further ado here we go we're not going to show you the specs because obviously this is like I said 10.6 inch um, about 1133 by 758 uh, resolution it's got it's HD it has a detachable keyboard that you can put on the bottom which is amazing because it's super thin uh, it, it's pretty much a fully fledged tablet with a kickstand and it's about $519 in Canada $499 uh, American for the 32 gigabyte without the keyboard and it can go all the way up to about 619 to 699 depending on where you are don't quote me on those exact prices because it does differ based on what country you are in this is an e-reader. It is extremely light, it is extremely affordable, and it lasts an extremely long time. This tablet gives you about, I would say, uh, anywhere between 6 to 11 hours, depending on how you use it. Whereas this Kindle will give you about 6 to 11 weeks, depending on how you use it. So you're looking at months of uh, battery life on this Kindle on a single charge. So let's dive into the book because like we said we're not going to take you through how they compare on full 1080p movie trailers because in essence this can't play it and we're not going to say oh let's compare audio because these both have audio oh wait the Amazon Kindle Kindle uh, Paperwhite does not have any audio capabilities they took that off from the last Kindle touch so we're just gonna go straight up to the books these are the home screens um, Amazon has done a good job of revamping their home screen from that weird list they had on uh, their last well pretty much all the other Kindles they had just a list of books and you really didn't know if that was your library or if that was your home screen or if that was just your list of books or whatever it was now it really looks like a dedicated home screen they have this consistent bar at the top that gives you options for back home glow light capabilities uh, store and searching and yes this is the version with a glow light so you can see little LEDs at the bottom you do have full glow light capabilities we'll keep that on just for the sake of having it as bright as possible because we are comparing it to a fully fledged tablet so without further ado again let us open up the world set free this is a book we have on both and we'll go over to our Kindle app and open that up and go to the world set free this is a book we purchased this is not side loaded so we should have all the features here so you'll see we're on the same page on both first thing you have to know is that this is an e-ink screen this is not a backlit liquid crystal display or LCD or LED or whatever type of backlit display because it is not this is front lit or bottom lit e-ink screen meaning there's no it's not refreshing it's not running there's no flickering that you can't see or you may catch on camera it's not going to agitate your eyes reading this all day because it's an e-ink screen you can see it's very little glare very paper-esque they want to simulate paper because that is what true reading is all about this is a full backlit screen so you're going to be able to play videos you're going to be able to watch movies you're going to be able to look at all your funny animations and stuff because this is a full color backlit screen so let's look at these side by side page turn speeds instant on the tablet because there is no sort of animation 
pretty instant on the e-reader as well but you do see how e-readers have a tendency to do that they have to wipe away you see and then kind of restain the uh, image redisplay the image onto the screen so they're just different technologies and you see every sixth page turn or so you're going to get that full refresh you'll see right there this is to cut down on staining and ghosting and all that kind of stuff on the screen if we click in the middle on the top sorry on the Kindle and in the middle on the tablet and we go to text this is where we can alter our text on the Kindle Paperwhite you have about eight different levels of text and it all changes dynamically and instantly so you can go to the extremity if you have trouble seeing you can go like that or you can go if you have 2020 vision or eagle eye you can uh, crunch all your text very condensed like that we're just gonna keep it in the middle for the sake of this review on the um, on the tablet you have about five different levels and uh, you don't doesn't change dynamically on the screen it will change in this little box up top though so you can do that you have different margins available as well as you do on here you have something that e-readers don't have which I think they should black you see how it's black on white it's uh, white on black instead of black on white I think that is a good idea for nighttime and I think it would be a good idea if they could just reverse all the black on the screen to white and vice versa so um, that would be cool but anyways we also have different styles of fonts doesn't look like you have different styles of fonts here so um, in text augmentation to kind of customize it to your comfortable reading needs I would say the Kindle just does a little bit better because you have a lot more features you even have line spacing you can spread everything out if you don't want to read it that closely uh, whereas uh, you don't have line spacing on here we'll close that so we see you see that we're at a comfortable level of reading both of these pages let's turn to a page with full text there we go let's let you look at that for a sec this is very evident of all what you've seen on uh, iPads and stuff like that. If you're not too familiar with what tablets are, um, this will be, this is kind of like a cell phone screen or a computer screen or a TV screen. It's backlit with color. You can see that we have full color images and so forth. Whereas on here it is just a black and white device so you won't have any sort of eye agitation or anything of the sort. Anyways, if we press and hold on the Amazon P Kindle Paperwhite, you will get an instant definition you'll also get full definition options highlights so you can make a highlight or you can highlight a lot you can also go to more you can share on uh, Facebook Twitter Evernote all that kind of stuff depending on what uh, what you have on there where you can add a note and go Hello. The keyboard's very good on this device, by the way. What you can also do is, aside from Wikipedia and dictionary, translation. Very, very cool. You see how I highlighted the, and we got an instant translation of le. So, you, uh, in French, of course. You can do many different translations. You can also box the whole page if you want and go up to here and remember if there's words that can't be translated chances are they probably won't be translated very well however you'll see here we've translated this entire book or the entire page sorry into French just like that it took three four seconds so you essentially could do the whole book in another language uh, it is actually capable of displaying traditional Chinese as well you'll see here that's quite amazing and as you see Alexander is not able to be translated so it's in English however the resolution is so good on this that you can actually display full Chinese characters because of the intricate keystrokes a lot of the characters can't be displayed on other devices this one can anyways that is I think an amazing feature and I wish more devices had that so can we do all that on here? Well, the answer is, of course you can. So, let's press and hold on happy. You can get an instant definition, you'll see here. Come on. 
Come on. Or maybe you can't. No, I'm just kidding. You can. It's just uh, taking a second there. When connected to the internet, looks like we've dropped our internet. So you can get that if you are on the internet, as you saw on the Amazon Kindle. Um, you can go to highlight. You can also grab. Oh, there's. There you go. <laughs> I did have uh, internet. It just kind of wonked out on me there for a sec. Anyways, yeah. So you do get uh, full definition, and you can get the extended definition at dictionary.com if you click that blue link. You can also highlight as we showed you. You can also grab the box of these little anchors to box as much as you want to highlight. So you can see these highlights keep no matter if you change the page. You can also make notes. Hey. Save that. There we go. And you can also, sorry, if you swipe the side, you can share things as well. This bar on the side kind of comes up anytime you're on uh, pages such as photos, uh, books, uh, videos. It's kind of a universal bar here. You can go to settings, devices, start, share, and search. Overall, I would say in terms of just full... I mean, it's hard to say that... I'm not really trying to find a winner is what I'm trying to say. It's just showing you what exactly the differences are. If you really enjoy reading a book like this and you enjoy kind of turning pages and having it display in a fuller fashion but holding, mind you, a 1.5 pound tablet in your hands and you like the color, of course, like you get with the tablet then maybe the Microsoft Surface is for you. However, I think overall, I'm no, not, I know I'm not trying to find a winner, but I would say the winner is the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. In any sort of light, you can read it because it's backlit. It has full text augmentation. You can see here, it's got a wide array of what you can do to alter your comfortability reading level. You can still do highlights. You can still do notes. You can still do uh, um, you can still share it. Something that the uh, Microsoft Surface doesn't do, like we showed you, is go to more and we go to translation, and it'll just translate that whole section in a matter of seconds to whatever language you have. So there are no boundaries with languages anymore. If you have a book in any language it can do its best to translate it to whatever language you want and there are extensive lists of languages on here you can see there's Korean Japanese Italian Russian Spanish Norwegian Portuguese two different types of Chinese I mean a lot of the time you might say oh I can't read this book although I kinda want to I want to see what the author has to say but it's in this language I can't understand boom Kindle Paperwhite or you say, man, there's a lot of mistakes on all these books I'm finding on the Microsoft Surface. But how will I ever tell the author or Amazon what's wrong with each individual book? Boom, Kindle Paperwhite. All you have to do is go to More, Report Content Error, state whether it's a typo, an image, uh, a, a, an image problem, formatting, or other, add a comment. For example, the word the was spelled T-H-H-E for some reason. Uh, you can report that as a typo, send it to Amazon, and either the author or Amazon will alert the future buyers of that particular book that there are problems with whatever book. So report content error, translation, dictionary definitions, so much more can be done on the Kindle Paperwhite than it can be done on the Kindle app of the Microsoft Surface. We're not saying that this device does more than this device that is incorrect this does more times 50 I mean there's just so much more you can do on this than the paper white it's not what we're showing here we're showing the reading experience so there you have it between the reading experience on the Kindle Paperwhite and the reading experience on the Kindle app for Windows 8 RT Microsoft Surface you guys be the judge I myself like reading on a Kindle Paperwhite it doesn't agitate your eyes you can charge this once I uh, I think we've charged this 
month and a bit ago, and we're still at, I'd say, 40% battery. So, And the glow light's been on because on the Kindle Paperweight, the glow light never truly turns off. You guys be the judge of it. Visit our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goodyreader to look at all the other comparison videos, unboxings, reviews, and everything else we've done. You can go to goodyreader.com slash blog to look at all the articles we have, user uh, um, e-reader reviews, tablet reviews, previews, uh, interviews, and other views, and event coverage, and all that fun stuff, and everything in between. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter. Everyone, have a great day. Have a keyboard dock, and for other accessories, we'll show you that in a second after we uh, go anything else. On the top, we have one of the two speakers, 3.5mm headphone jacks, volume up and volume down. Twin microphones, you can see there, one and two. Standby button. And charging port.